Hi, I'm Wes here with Jeremy. We've got another Noria unboxing for you. Jeremy, probably one of the most common systems that I run into, regardless of industry or anything else, are hydraulic systems. Oh yeah, you're gonna find them anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's food processing, if it's corn processing. Pulp any... and paper, power. Yeah. But I think about mobile equipment quite a bit. My, yeah. my background growing up, I spent a lot of time in construction. I think forklifts, excavators, dirt movers, manless, all these things. Yeah. Hydraulic systems. You and I share a common background in agriculture, so. Yeah. Grew up driving combine, grain cart, tractors, trucks, all of it hydraulics. Yeah, so when we think about hydraulic systems, there's some common problems with hydraulic systems. We know contaminants are, are awful for them. Right. And then right there with it, leaks. Yep. I mean, when we think about a hydraulic leak, Lots of issues associated with that. You're losing power, you're losing fluid, yep. time and money and everything else. That's why I like this Mystic JT9 Leak Shield Anti-Wear Hydraulic Fluid. Yeah. So it's a premium formulated hydraulic fluid and it's specially designed to help reduce, mitigate, prevent leaks, and of course detect them early too. How does it do that? Well, it does in a lot of ways through the formulation. And I mean, if we think about this, this is an anti-wear hydraulic fluid. We know right. most of these applications require an anti-wear fluid. Yeah. You got to protect pumps, cylinders, and everything else. Yeah. So if you look at the FZG score of this, mm -hmm. it's right there. I mean, it's it's a high score, so it's got good anti-wear characteristics. Yeah. It's got good uh, corrosion characteristics. So it's got an A1 rating for the copper strip corrosion. So we know that it's not corroding, you know, those parts in there that are sensitive. Yeah. Best rating that you can get. Um, it's got the rust protection characteristics that we need. So it protects steel surfaces, iron surfaces. And whenever we get water in there, what do we want it to be able to do? Demulsibility. Demulsibility. We want it to separate, right? Yeah. So rapid demulsibility. But when we think about the, the leaks, in addition to all the additives and everything else, one more additional thing. It's formulated green. I like it. Absolutely. You think about something a specific color, it makes it easier to identify. Yeah. Probably going to catch the leaks a lot quicker. Yep. There's a lot to be said about a colored fluid like this to be able to determine what it is. Oh, definitely. The, if you go out to your car, you see some red fluid underneath it, chances are it's going to be... Transmission fluid. Transmission you automatically fluid. think that. Yeah. Like So if you've got this in your facility and using it in your hydraulic systems, you walk past a piece of equipment, you see some green fluid. Yep. Hydraulic leak. Got a hydraulic leak. Right. And we train a lot of individuals around here, right? So, yeah. I mean, this is a training piece that you can take to your plant. Basically say, all right, the fluid that we use is this color. You know, you're going to be able to identify it. And with it being green as opposed to a traditional hydraulic fluid that may be clear or a yellowish color. Yeah. A lot easier to pick out. Oh, yeah. Uh, chances are you're not going to see this until it's, you know, been sitting out for a while. It's had days or weeks for dust to settle on it. And that's what you notice more than anything else is something's yeah. looking dusty or you start to see that oil slick looking thing, right? Yep. So with it being green, we can detect leaks earlier. So if we can detect leaks earlier, what are the savings associated with that? Well, obviously you're saving the fluid. There you go. You're not topping up, you know, the same volume at that point because right. we caught the leak earlier. So less fluid consumption, less yeah. fluid waste at that point. Yeah. If you can see where it's coming out of the equipment, you know where it's leaking. You can focus on those there you go. parts. And those a repairs. more pinpointed repair. I think about this. If you see a small leak from a hose, right. you're able to fix that before we lost a big volume. You may save catastrophic failures. Think about the pump that may grenade itself with oh, yeah. a low volume of oil. So now we've avoided a lot of costs associated with it. Yeah, and not just costs. I'm mean, not just, you know, the cost of the parts and stuff, but you're talking about the time it takes to repair that stuff. That's it. We know that the biggest cost associated with failures is not just necessarily the labor or the parts. It's usually the downtime. Oh, yeah, loss of production. There you go. So if we're avoiding downtime... That's huge. Yeah. And this is just the tip of the iceberg in savings, right? There's absorbent costs. There's uh, handling costs. There's disposal yeah. costs. I mean, it goes on and on and on. But I want to showcase, you know, how well you can actually see some of this. Right. So I've got a, a little setup here. Very simple, right? Yeah. Once again, thinking construction equipment, mobile hydraulics, I think yellow. Yeah. Right? Thinking about hydraulic components, fittings, cylinders, things like that, I think gray. Yep. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the, the, the typical hydraulic. All right. I'm going to use the, uh, the Mystic uh, hydraulic oil, and let's show how this stands out. So if I take the Mystic, and we'll start with the yellow here. I'm going to dribble some on here, and you'll see how this green stands out against that yellow equipment. You can see it really shows up very well there. Oh, yeah. Use a, a typical one. What do we got? All right. We got 
a little bit of shimmer, and that's about it. It looks like water, right? I mean, yeah. it almost disappears, and that's when you're going to be relying on the dirt packed up around it to see it. Yeah. Even as the mystic drains away, you still see some of that green residual, so it's a telltale that there was a leak. Oh, yeah, you see a green streak, even if it's not still wet, you know, hey, we've had some hydraulic fluid leaking here. Absolutely. Let's try the gray one. Gray one, very similar story. The green stands out in the background there. You can see that it's leaking. You can determine it. We use the regular hydraulic. And that just... Kind of disappears, kind of blends into it, right? Yeah, just kind of fades away. So, I mean, the green really works out. And I know some people are worried, you know, does the green dye... Is it going to be compatible with things and that like that? I mean, it's not changing the chemical properties of this fluid. It's going to be compatible with conventional hydraulic fluids. Yeah. So if you want to move to it, you're not having to flush out your equipment to move to this type of fluid. Right. You could do it on an oil change. You you, you could, right? Um, and the, the folks there are Mystic. I mean, they've got a big support network. Yeah. So they can help match the application to, to what you need, you know, what their fluid is. And, of course, their product comes in a lot of delivery options. Oh, yeah. I was noticing that. Yeah. So we've got jugs. You know, it can be small volumes, you know, gallon, two gallon, uh, all the way up to a 55-gallon drum. I like these go boxes. Yeah. Uh, the go box, you know, is several gallons here. It's in a cardboard box. It's got a bag on the inside of it. It's got a spout that it dispenses from. Great. You don't have to worry about funnels and introducing contaminants. Right? There you go. A little bit more pinpointed. And we know with all these multiple delivery options, too, it's less product waste. Yeah. And I have to worry about it being stale in inventory, you know, basically going bad from us storing it. Yeah. It's more we're getting exactly what we need. Yeah. We think about, you know, ag equipment. Where does farm equipment break down? Middle of western Kansas. <laughs> middle of nowhere, <laughs> yeah. right? It's in the middle of a field. And you're going to be moving fluid to it. Yeah. You don't want to necessarily be lugging an entire drum unless you need it. Right. But something like this of just the fluid that you need makes it a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Throw a couple of these in your service truck. Especially if you, if, if you only need 25, 30 gallons out there, you don't need a whole drum. No need to transport it, right? That's right. So you think about this, you know, other services, they've got the, the Lube Alert fluid condition monitoring services. Oh, yeah. Great oil analysis program. That's it. So the oil analysis helps you, you know, pinpoint maybe machine problems, oil problems before they can become catastrophic. Yeah. So lots of good things here. I'm excited with the, the, the fluid. And for more information on this fluid, just visit the link below.